everybody. Happy New Year. I'm about to make soap. And this is the first batch of the year for me. I've been packing sale orders for the last couple of days, well, the last day. So I'm done with that. And it's time to make soap. So the first one I'm going to make of the year is a coconut soap. It's just cracked coconut. And inside cracked coconut, I got my original recipe, then titanium dioxide, and some coconut powder, like milk powder. So I'm going to put that in there. And I just need to get my stick blender. This coconut scent just smells, it's not like um, suntan lotion coconut, it's a really nice creamy coconut that sticks pretty well in the soap, so I wanted to keep it plain, I was just thinking, oh, shall I do some lines and I thought, no, let's not, let's uh, keep our soaps a bit more plain, and I don't know if that's going to go throughout the year, but it's my mission, <laughs> is to just make a few more soaps that are just one colour. It makes it easy on me, and when they're all on the shelf, it's nice to have like a... I was thinking about doing like a rainbow of colours, but sort of going from the palest to the darkest, with all the colours in between, so... We'll see how that goes. So what I'm going to do first is add my lye. This is a bit warm, and I am soaping with the water discount again, but not... A 50% water discount. It's um, I don't know what it is. I just sort of poured the water in to the lye or the lye into the water and just uh, I don't know. I'm probably doing a 30% discount or something like that. Here I've got a little mold that I bought from home that was for ice cubes, but it's really like it stays upright. It doesn't bow when you put soap in it. So I'm gonna be making a series of these little ones so I'm just going to make one in there today so I've got a few and I'll either give them away or they can just go on the shop shelf or you know whatever I might just like a set of six eventually or something like that but I've got one that I made from just before Christmas and these little I bought like a box cutter for my Sizzix die cutter that I've got and the boxes are the perfect size for the soap so in now I've got one of my violet soaps and they're so cute and it fits perfect into this little box. So I thought, ah, oh, I can make the boxes and then we can do like a little set. Set of three, set of six, set of two, you know, whatever. Just ideas. So, stick blend. I'll edit this out. Okay, I'm just gonna add my white. This is the last of the plastic cups I'm gonna be using and the plastic spoons I'm gonna be using. I've got a few to get through. I don't know why I changed to plastic from pottery that I get from Matt. What was I thinking? So I'm trying to eliminate plastic too. I'd really like to go to glass packaging for jars, but it's the weight I'm worried about with the postage and the breakages. So I'm just going to look at some different packaging options and see if I can find anything that's biodegradable. So many things to think about. Okay, it's got a nice creamy colour, so I'm just going to put in my coconut powder. This is an organic coconut milk powder. I did try to remove the lumps, but it's sort of uh, decided to lump back up by itself. It's a bit of a pain. I think that's alright, I think it's mixed in. Okay, I'm just going to get my fragrance that I've done here. This doesn't just have a really good one. So it's just a plain white soap. Keep it simple for New Year, eh? <laughs> I didn't want any stressing because I've got so much to do. My shelves are like literally almost empty. I've got soaps that I have made before Christmas, but now over the other side, there's like, oh man, I've got so much to do and so many things I need to make. So. We can only start at the beginning, but I am stressed about it. I'm stressed about how much I've got to do, but new mould liner here as well. I made a mistake of buying a tropical print, which of course makes uh, the 
pattern imprint on the soap, but because I play my soaps, it doesn't really matter. creamy white soap to start the year and I just want to get as many soaps made this year as I possibly can because I got really low on soap last year and I'm a soap shop <laughs> it's like I do lots of other products and there's lots of you know call for making the other products because they're constantly selling but the soap is you know it's really important that I have lots and lots and lots of bar soaps on the shelves so it's embarrassing when you haven't got enough stock. I don't, I don't like it, you know. Just give it a little shake. I'm just going to get a chopstick. Okay, so I'm just going to texture the tops. This is hardened up quite nicely now because of that water discount. Just makes it so much easier to. Get on and finish a soap when you do those discounts. I'm so chuffed with it. I've had quite a few people leaving me comments to say they've tried it and how successful it's been. So it's really good that I was able to help some of you. I don't, you know, this isn't a channel that I set up to do tutorials or anything like that. It's just my business channel so that my customers can see the processes of what goes into making stuff. But, you know, it's nice to have some soap maker interaction as well because sometimes you feel like you know you can be out on a limb on your own and it's nice to have like a nice community to talk to I think I've just cocked that up <laughs> I don't think they're wide enough let's just do this <laughs> and just have a textured top So there you go, plain coconut soap, which smells really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, so the next one I'm going to make is the aromatics one. So I'll show that one as well. And I'll see you for the cup for this tomorrow. Okay. Bye, bye. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, fapping. So, time to unmold. I've got two batches to unmold. And right before Christmas, I went and bought this new liner. So I was on about the oil cloth a while back, which is great, but it's kind of thick and heavy and can create like a rounded bottom on the soap. So I found this other stuff, which is similar to oil cloth and comes from the same area of the shop as the oil cloth, but it's a plastic that obviously can be reused. I'm trying to move away from plastic as much as I possibly can. I'm just looking into some new packaging and stuff, so we'll get there. But this stuff is obviously reusable and it's a bit better because it doesn't have fabric on the back. It's literally plastic sheeting. So soap just comes off like Super easy. Actually, seeing that, I'll have another look in a minute. It does feel a bit like a fabric. It's only stuck because I've cleared the other half of it, so on the other side of this mould. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, it is a fabric, but it's very, very thin. So this one is better than the other fabric that I was using. So it gives a nice, smooth uh, finish to the soap on the edges, so you don't have to plane too much. Like when you get um, paper, when you use paper, like freezer paper, or well not so much freezer paper, but the grease proof paper I was using before, that causes me some grief. So this stuff 
is much better. I'm just going to unmold these two and then I'll do a separate video for the cut of this one because I've done two videos yesterday so I've got to do two videos today. And then they'll probably go up at different times onto my channel. So I'm closed at the moment with the shop because I haven't got any stock to really sell other than what I'm putting online. I don't really have enough to do both. Plus it's very quiet in town at the moment, so I'm not really bothered by this. It's actually quite nice to have a break from having to open up shop. I don't, you know, some days I just don't want to do it. Most days I'm alright, but when I'm when I've got no stock, then it's uh we can't open up a shop, can we? Next year, I plan on being a lot more organised, but this is my first year in here, and my first year running a retail location, so it's all trial and error. And I'm painting through, at the moment, a really nice dark grey, and I'm using Farrow and Ball uh, Downpipe. It's such a nice colour, so I've started the wall behind you, and I'm going to come all the way around, so it'll be like all dark grey on the walls with the white furniture. Ideally I want to have wooden furniture, like a Harry Potter shop. I'll go away. Okay, so this is my coconut soap I made. This is called cracked coconut because it smells like a freshly cracked coconut. Mm. And the coconut milk has made like a mottled effect in the soap, so it kind of gives it a bit more of a rustic edge. So we'll just chop into logs and then into bars. Been out this morning with the dog and it was so cold. Not like snow cold but like a bitter north wind. It was like biting my face. Oh, it's horrible. And we came back in and I made myself a salted caramel mocha latte which was really nice. But now my, I'm all like, my bones are, were cold and now I'm warming up. I'm feeling like I just want to curl up under a blanket and go to sleep. So we're not going to be at work all day today, I don't think. We have a break. I've been watching The Killing. So let's have a discussion about Netflix programmes. I'm a Netflix fan. I'm obsessed with Netflix. There's just so many things on there that I watch. So I watch all the murder documentaries like Making a Murderer and all the things like that. Although I did just start watching one the other day called Killer Kids. I had to turn it off. It was that bad and that horrific that the stories that they were telling, oh, it was just awful. So like the, you know, the mass murderers and the serial killer programs, weirdly I can handle them, but this, this one with these kids, it was just really really bad so I've watched Killer Kids or only watched a few of those episodes another one I've done is yes yeah, so I'm watching The Killing I've finished Stranger Things Stranger Things 2 uh, oh People vs OJ that was really good I really really enjoyed that because I can remember the case I would have been in my 20s in 1996 so I can remember watching it and like seeing it on the news, but I can't remember the whole story. So watching this series with Cuba Gooding Jr., who is amazing, I love him, was just really a real eye-opener. So it, yeah, it shocked me. It really shocked me. I didn't realise that he fled and done a runner and all that. I didn't like shut the freeway down. And, oh my God. I didn't realise all that happened. And I didn't realise sort of all the political bits and what was happening on oh, was just crazy but I did enjoy watching it it's really good so I've just finished that that was over Christmas I was watching that one and then I've watched so many my head is just full of the killing at the moment so I'm on series two and I'm really really enjoying that series so the killing is my favorite at the moment but I've watched Forensic Files, uh, Confession Tapes, that's another really good one. That's just crazy. Confession Tapes is where they get people to confess to crimes that they didn't commit through pressurising them and they're taking them into custody and 
people get so beat down and so tired from being in custody for so long that they confess to a crime they didn't commit. There was one woman who confessed to the murder of her daughter who actually killed herself in a fire in her bedroom. It actually set her, her, her bedroom alight and killed herself in her bedroom. And they just wanted somebody to blame. Like, they didn't want to say that it was suicide, so they blamed the mother and took the mother in. She clearly could see she was innocent. And she ended up saying, well, if you say I did it, then I must have done it. There's a confession. So she's in, she's still in prison now, and I don't, I can't remember how many years ago that is, but it's like a life sentence for something that she didn't do. I was crying at the end of that that program, but it's very interesting that the tactics of the FBI is like just, and like the police force is to just get that confession. Like they're told that that's what they need to do is just to get a confession, which is just insanity. Absolute insanity. So that was a bit of an eye opener. Everybody's justice system in each, you know, everybody's country is like, it's all a mess. But um, it's interesting to learn about how things are, you know, it, it's frightening. Anyway, back to soap. Leave me some comments down below about what to watch on Netflix because I, I love it. Although, bear in mind, I'm in the UK and I, our shows aren't always the same. Or we could be a bit ahead with some things and a bit behind with others. So they, you know, they chop and change which shows they show in which country. So, but let me know what you've been watching. So here we are. Hopefully you can see this okay. This is cracked coconut. And I'm going to just chop these couple of logs and then I'm going to move on and do another video for the black soap that I've made there. So lucky. If I can get these uploaded, you'll have two videos to watch this week. Making, cutting. I'd love for this Friday already. That was a short week. Okay, so I'm going to finish up and then chop the black. So I'll be back in a bit. Bye.